Tell about one more time. Right, you're gonna take action. And here we go. Oh. Hello, Internet! And today, because I'm uninspiring, we're back to the sea server for some Yunli gameplay. And as usual, massive thank you to the official strong team for this opportunity. And this clear as well, NBC are subject to change. And enough of that, today I have for you the world's strongest Yunli. Look at this stat line. Now, if you've been playing for a while, you would realize, yo, this is mid. Well, yeah, yeah, kind of. But this, oh, oh, this isn't. Her entire identity is just eating food. Look at this, what the crud. But today, we should continue that you will only own if the fighter is like an oil rig owner or something. Now, practically, though, the E1 is ruling you. You get three extra instances of call. That means at the end of your usual enhanced counter that requires to get attacked beforehand, you will just do more damage, right? You can think of it being like 13 total stacks of Lightning Lord's damage of Jingyuan. It's something kind of like that. And after that, I would say it's pretty much all okay, but nothing out of the ordinary except for E6. This is where she just transcends the god mode. You get crit rate and physical rest pen. Those are whatever. But you will no longer ever do into it slash. I'm pretty sure you will only do the best version. Basically, every single lightning roll you throw, you'll have 13 stacks. Like, that is cracked. But like her wise, of course, I gotta run the S5. And here are the relics. This should be one of the best setups for it. And we'll jump right in. What I want to showcase, of course, if I use a whole team like this with decimating them, what if I solo, huh? Think about this, guys. Yuli has a heal. Yuli has a lot of damage. She technically could solo. Even her blade looks like blade. But here we go. So when we first go in, this should still be into its slash. Actually, I'm not sure. I think it's called whatever, man. It will just be an ulti. But after this, though, I can just use my ult. Even if they don't attack me, I'll use call. And look at this damage right here. 240 one shot. Oh, yeah. But here's the thing, though. From an E6 character, you would think, this is not that crazy, no? I actually think it's very impressive. 200k from a person alone? Like, Akron sure can do more than that, but Akron would have died by now. And here's where she can sustain. I'll use an E. This will pretty much max heal me, right? So watch this. And bang. We'll use our ult right away. Even if they summon the mobs. Yeah, right here. If they summon the mobs, this should still be into a call, which does 335k. The world's strongest. Really, ladies and gents, have we just ended you, yo? What's my stat? Not crazy, actually. Well, without a team, it's not crazy. I could have sworn I was supposed to get 15 extra crit rate, but it's only on the into a call. But from one of her eyelons, though, she also has F rest increased by 50. And Jesus Christ, fire dance. I think this is from a light code. 120% fall attack increase. What? This gremlin, man. She's no joke. Here comes an E, though. Now, even at E6, a character own kit usually have their like best source of damage Yunli definitely has like basically zero damage yet <laughs> outside of like enhanced counters she does nothing that is one thing about Yunli but as I said though she's no like nuke DPS like say Firefly she's no Akron but she can heal which is something that not everybody can do with this final ulti as well I think we should have this and here we go even if I'm not attack I get to nuke 300k alone lone wolf achievement has been obtained how do you even get that <laughs> lone wolf more like lone grim than mad. That was a solo against seven, you might say. Oh, that's pointless then. What if we go to MOC 12? Hmm? Well, I don't know what you expected, but yeah. The problem is even with the max idol on Yunli, she's pretty different than a blade, right? Her healing capabilities are way low, but at the same time, her damage output is way higher, especially against one singular enemy. But you know what? I'm still surprised she killed the first wave alone. Well, every day I look at my YouTube banner and I think, there's no way. If Yunli can't do this, how am I going to do it with Bailu? All right, I'll use the full team. This will probably end insanely quickly, but you know what? I think it's worth to take note of the damage just to see how much she can do. Like, we did try a lot of E6 characters and they are insane. But how insane is Yunli though? I actually don't think she'll beat like the top DPSs though. Because you know, she's a jack of all trades. But we'll find a leader. And here we go. The dead singer and the gremlin. That would be the name of the band. So now we go in with the technique. And it does 282k. From a technique, the increase isn't that crazy, right? Even though it's E6. But what if my entire team buffs her up though? Let's try with into a call plus Robinson's E. How much damage have I just increased? We'll find out now. And bang, 400k already. Might be able to see like, what, 600k after I buff everything? We'll We'll see what happens with it though. We'll go in for a sparkle. So the racist gremlin's gonna buff the very hungry gremlin. And what happens here is I also gain more crit rate, right? Like right now I got 78 plus my E6 effect should mean with my enhanced counter, I get 15 extra. So right now I'm like nearly 100, 90 something. Plus with sparkle, my crit damage is not okay. 400, man. She gets 100 from her enhanced counter. So we're, we're talking about 500 currently, but I don't even find need that at all. Actually, yeah, I do. Without her ultimate, you really just don't do damage at all. You basically 
gonna have to have the ulti up. That means I'll go ahead and use it, I suppose. So now, even if he doesn't attack me, this is an action that he took. I'll still use into a cult. This right here is into a cult. I did 560k. How about that, eh? Right. Now, you're gonna go against our Genti. It's annoying to use Yunli because I think it's this bot that gives him a shield. That's annoying, right? Yunli's damage is just gonna all get mitigated. But after E6, I'm pretty sure that does not matter. Screw it, dude. Let's just use Robin. Welcome to your funeral. Right. Now, over buff the Gremlin. I'm pretty sure with this ulti, I have every crit rate possible, but I don't have my ulti. Uh, this right here should be I do. Come on, please be enough. And is it enough? It is. Oh, gosh. All right, watch this damage right here. I need to slow this down if I can. Oh, dude, I can. Here comes the damage. Oh, one million. One hundred to zero. Okay, wait. You least damage might actually be cracked. I can do that for every ultimate. That's insane, actually. I said she was Jack of all traits, Master of None. She might be actually pretty good at burst CPSA now that she's easy, especially from the E1. So if you really love your Lee, E1 is the way to go as well. I do feel like it was more important first, though. Let's just use an E. I'm doing 100k with the E. That's actually impressive, but ironically. Wait, well, and there's a no time ad. Come on now, stab the kid. Oh, hell yeah. This will go. I get my ulti, that means, and I'm actually pretty low. Uh, but here comes the ulti again. Yep, there we go. 400k done. Not insane. I'm not gonna lie. At least at the end. But that's probably because everyone died. So to be honest, I fed this gremlin steroids. She is strong. But if you own an oil ring and you're thinking of e sex somebody, I wouldn't choose Yin Li. I would go for the E1, though. The E1 really contributes to a lot more damage. But you know what? Videos like these, we just gotta take the piss. What if we have everyone on my account to be cash tag E6, dude? We'll find out, man. And here we go. We have everyone at S5 E6. If I remember, if you do that to Robin, you don't even have to play the game. That's how stupid this is. But yeah, <laughs> let's find out, yo. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have eight skill points total now. How's that fair? Do people even own Sparkle like that? Because this is not even playing the game anymore. You just automatically win. Well, here we're Yunli, though. With E6, Sparkle, E6, Robin. I'm pretty sure we've easily reached a mil damage before. And with this, 800k. All right. Now, that's not fully buffed yet. So, I assume we're probably gonna tell like, what? 1.5 mil if we do that. And it's almost time. We'll do this first. This will be the ultimate setup. I'm gonna attempt and kill you. I'm pretty sure that you buffed me with damage if I do. But, well, too bad. Now, we'll get me some attack buff. And E6, Sparkle's ulti goes in. And we'll end up with Robin at E6. Go with the ulti as well. I have everything set up beautifully. Now, ideally, I get double ultimate from Yun Lee, but that's probably not gonna happen. Oh, can I kill you right now? I think so. This should kill you. Do I get a damage boost? <gasps> Wait. Oh, <laughs> I have double ultimate. I'm just gonna do this into my ultimate for a while. And up next is Yun Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, a gremlin nuke. <laughs> Two million. And that's one phase. How about one more time? Right, you're gonna take action. And here we go. Uh oh. Oh my god, you don't even need to play the game. All right, 3 million was uncalled for. I've never ever seen 3 million in MOC. It's not even that easy to do in Simulator Universe. What the crud? That's the power of E6, man. You were rude and you've decided to not be born into like a multi billionaire family. All right, honest question. Go to the comment section. And if you're like a mega well that actually has these, all E6 S5, please comment and let us know. Summer images do not believe anyone would have these. But if you do, also let us know how to even be in MOC. Like, do you even need to? play the game. Don't you just hit auto and then leave? Well, well that's a showcase of something we'll never have. But yeah, uh, world's strongest Yun Li did. Technically, she's not out yet, so I probably have the strongest. But I've done a free-to-play showcase of her, you know, the good old E0 S1. At that level, she's already solid, at least in this version. But she gets the job done. But the moment you take away the weaknesses and the moment you take away, you know, the fact that the enemy has to attack her for her to do damage, well, it's not like she doesn't without it, but it's just less. So it's a really balanced character, I would say. She's not broken, and she always gets the job done. Good in pure fiction, good in MOC. I I really do recommend going for her if you don't have a singular DPS at all. And yeah, that'll be all for today. Oh gosh, E6, man. It's just built different. Comment down below any ideas you might have. Sometimes you enjoy your comment and make a video right out of it. And that is all. Take care.